Ward by the ballots uh, will be here in a little while. Uh, we will be giving them to you on your way out so you can do a quick tear uh, around the number five and you can drop it in the box. Um, we, um, it's, it's not many times you can uh, welcome a director back from, uh, that did a film that you're so, you know, just in love with. Uh, and we have fans of John Wick in the house. <laughs> Indeed. Um, well, I don't want them to wait backstage much longer. Uh, I do want to thank Universal and Focus Features for bringing us this film. Please give it a hand for Universal and Focus. And let's bring out the director, David Leach. James McAvoy. Hello. the DNA of this movie. Uh, we just really hope you enjoy it. I'm so grateful that I got to work with these talented actors who kick ass. These fucking assholes. Incredible producers and a great creative team. We hope you love this fucking movie and um, enjoy Atomic One. You guys want Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have fun. Two amazing actors, Charlize and James, please come out. Come on! Um, I can't tell you what um, an honor and a pleasure it is to work with such talented people, and you guys like make me look so good. So it's really easy when you can just hang the movie on them, and uh, that's what I said from the beginning, so. You're welcome, David. You're, thank you. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of, like, amazing people to thank. I mean, Universal Focus Sierra yes. for really believing in the movie and, like, delivering tenfold for us. So we're really happy that they get support us. Thank you. It was a thrill for us to present uh, this world premiere because it just, you know, it worked so well. It's like, kind of like, you uh, and kind of quickly backstage, just sort of, we all thank you for being this action hero of like taking it to a profound and yes, we thank you. You have no idea how hard she works. It's insane. Well, there are like so many questions. You know, for you, it's interesting. Does it start with the action first or the stunts? Or, I mean, because the film is so complex in so many ways. So, can you, can you talk about that? No, no, I mean, with this, I mean, it just, it starts with the, the story and the character, um, and the action just is sort of the dressing, but um, we did want to put, we did want to do some compelling action, and thank God we had someone that would put in the work to deliver it, and she did, so. I mean, it's, you saw it. Yeah, I'll ask a few more questions, but we have microphones here, if you'd like to come down and line up and ask questions, we have a, we have a little bit of time. The, uh, you know, it could be more timely too, how crazy is it in terms of like how long this was in the works, but in terms of where our whole uh, world is right now, we're kind of like... It's pretty interesting with the, the, the Russians. <laughs> the Russians are back in. Perfect timing. He's strong. <laughs> if you didn't get the metaphor. <laughs> In terms of chemistry, too, in terms of the casting process, is it, is it all happening at the same time? It's kind of one person lead, and then you find the right. I mean, uh, Charlize was on the project before I was, and so um, I had to pitch her. He didn't have a choice. I came with. <laughs> I was like, guess what, motherfucker? You gotta have me. That was not it. It was like I was fighting to do this movie um, because I had for an opportunity to work with her. And um, thank God she said yes. So. One for James in terms of how you, how you came involved as well? Uh, it was 
That's all right. I'm good at project. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Go to Glasgow training. Yeah. Um, <laughs> British training. Uh, yeah, it, it was conventional. You just called me up, said read the script. I got a massive uh, hard on for the script. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I just called it massive, by the way, I don't know if you noticed that. Um, and then we met up on the South Bank in London, yeah. and, and I was like, I, I really want to do it, and I really wanted to make him as alcoholic, as drug addicted, as sexually diseased as possible. And you were like, you're going to go for it, dude. Right, well, no, but that was really the, uh, that's why I picked you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, I love it. <laughs> But I, I think I actually interrupted you. I'm sorry, Charlie. Said there was no, something you're. You didn't interrupt me at all. No. Okay. What? <laughs> no, no, I just was sorry. What well, we um before the the fight scene, the one take fight scene on the stairs. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. I got my... Look, there was um there was something that I'd been wanting to do for a long time, and that um. Had then in my brain about like this extended piece of fight choreography. Um, and it's just finding someone that can do it and like puts in the time and the training is willing to commit to the multiple takes that it takes to like get that done and um, and the months of training to get it done. So a lot of years. Yes. <laughs> so um, I you know you just don't get this opportunity. So when I when I saw the potential I took it. What was so exciting to see? And so in terms of actually have time for one more question, it goes to you. Hello, my name's Augustine. Um, incredible uh, cinematography and production design. Um, yeah, the star thanks. So you know, I, we had um, such a great team of artists that work on this, and um, if these guys know, like as a director, I'm a I'm, I'm a real collaborator, but Jonathan Stella is an incredible cinematographer. He shot John Wick for Chad and I. Um, David Schoenemann, he was an art director for years um, and a lot of the Wachowski movies that I'd worked on, and he came on. He's from Berlin, he's a Berlin native, and he came on to step up to production designer, and he did some crazy stuff. And then Cindy Evans, um, who'd worked with Charlize for a long time, she brought that 80s Costume, costume to life, design. like, yeah. amazing. So, um, and also, what about we those have, team of artists? Wait, like, we have Enzo and Francesca here. Oh, yeah. Who, uh, Bye. hair and makeup design, Lorraine, where are they? Enzo! Friends, get up! And, you know, this idea of uh, this iconic hairdo. <gasps> yeah, the know, Enzo, really cool. like, coming up with the, you know, the iconic hairdo. Well, or. <laughs> well, it's important as we wrap up, your ballots to actually vote this is eligible for an audience award, so make sure to pick them up on the way out and deliver them right away. On behalf of everybody, this was such a privilege. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.